Alright, I think we're alive. Sure. Yep, that, that looks good. Okay, cool. Let's let's do this. Uh, let's see. Um, what haven't we done yet? So we, we've done, I think, most of the easy quests at this point. Um, yeah. All right, deal with the demon. Mighty leader, forgive this intrusion, but a terrible presence has visited our castle. A demon. He claims he's here to collect on a debt owed to him by your mother. Can this be true? Since we were unable to immediately deliver the requested bounty, he said he'd return later for triple the amount of gold, or he'd curse the entire village. He then vanished in a cloud of oh, foul no. smelling green smoke. Your Majesty, I hope you have a plan. Something <laughs> must be done before he returns. Have a plan? What? No. No, we're just gonna wing it. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so we need to make a hundred thousand gold within forty days or lose. Okay. Well, so the Elven Treachery quest that we did last time had a similar condition, but hopefully this time we're not just being constantly uh, raided by Elves, so, you know, they will actually stand a chance. Anyhow, let's get going. Uh, right, I don't have a pause button, do I? Okay, so what do we have? We have a Warrior's Guild way out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we have a Blacksmith, a Guardhouse, and an Inn. Okay, well... Get some upgrades going. See, we have a gambling hall. Uh, we have a wizard's guild. And a temple to crypto. Okay. The well, let's get some warriors going. Actually, let's just get like one of everything. Why not? Oh, we could use a ranger's guild while we're at it. Let's get one of those going. Uh, sure. That's good. And we also want a marketplace, because those I things make a ton of money. Pleasure. Marketplace? There you go. X. Th th that's going to be our real money maker, is the marketplace. Get it fully upgraded. Probably have two of them. Oh, no. So we want a marketplace and a bunch of trading posts, because trading posts just send um, caravans that just have a ton of money in them. So that's what we're going to want. I'm surprised the wizards are still alive. Oh no, this poor guardhouse. <laughs> oh no. Don't die. I, I need you to actually be able to do your job and collect all the money. <laughs> this is a problem. Uh, warrior, where are you going? Oh. That poor tax collector, he's not gonna do well. All right. More, more wizards, more uh, uh, crypto priestesses, and I start getting rangers. Yeah. I don't know why the warriors guild is all the way out in the middle of nowhere. A little, little annoying, but oh, of course, there's gonna be some hostile rogues around here somewhere. Okay, so we need to find the the rogues guild and deal with that in one way or another. I don't know if they'd con be convinced to join us or if we just have to destroy them. Oh god, the wizards are not, uh, not doing well. The necromancers, on the other hand, doing really well. Your Majesty, the royal treasury is nearly empty. Yes, I know that. That's because all of our, uh... <laughs> uh... No, he's the chest, damn it. Uh. Uh. 
Okay, well, not a bad start so far. Um, there, I'm guessing there is a, uh, like a rogue, uh, rogue skilled up in the corner there. Why is the wizard who has four hit points the wild going to... Okay, good luck with that. Wizards are so expensive too. Honestly, the necromancers are probably going to be the, the ones who carry this map. Aha! Actually, okay, good. We'll, we'll just offer literally the entire, like, the, all the coffers of the castle to, to just destroy this place. One step closer to oblivion. Okay, well. Uh, I need my tax collectors to not die. Okay, castle, good. Looks like there's arrows coming in from off screen. I wonder what that's all about. Wait, were they shooting at the warriors, or were they trying to claim the bounty on their own guild? Because that's glorious if they were trying to claim their <laughs> the bounty on their own guild. Uh. Okay. Get some upgrades going. We only have 40 days to do all this, so... Like, priority 1, upgrade the marketplace to max, because marketplaces generate a ton of gold, so... So that's going to be our goal. Dude, Come max in. out the marketplace. Your marketplace now serves you better. My service ends. Yeah, I only have 200 gold. Oh, I guess I spent the rest of it. What the fuck was that? Uh, something that just obliterated. Tax collector. <laughs> uh, like all of my warriors. So, whoops. The royal treasure oh, is nearly empty. This doesn't inspire happiness. I serve with pleasure. Let's see. Okay, so we got a handful of creature dens. Not the worst in the world. Evil castle. Okay, so we got some things to, to clean up. They're not too bad, though. I'm done for! Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. Do I get another tax collector at... I do, okay. My job, your majesty. I'm done for! Are you willing to flirt with death? Cat collector! Oh, top five. Oh shit. Okay. So they are bound like collecting trying to collect the bounty on their own. Um <laughs> that that's an interesting um Interesting behavior. Uh, the like the neutral rogues who are uh, what a delicious you know, who are who've been pilfering from my buildings are claiming the bounty on their own building. So they're literally destroying their own guild for funsies. <laughs> I don't know if that was by design, or if, the, if I don't know if that's a bug or if that's actually intended behavior. This is funny regardless, but.
<laughs> so we're murdering the rogues while they're murdering their guild. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm fine with this. <laughs> Alright, uh, rewards. And there we go. Just, they're just gonna come rob my place. Raid the marketplace. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. Uh, what? Oh, the marketplace. Okay. Brings a protection, so my you know people hopefully don't die as quickly. Oh, I probably should have held off on recruiting wizards until after I had rings of protection. Thinking about it now. Because otherwise, wizards are very squishy. Your Majesty, the royal treasury is nearly empty. Sovereign, your marketplace now serves you better. Wither, animate. Oh, reanimate. Oh, right. I forgot the necromancers could um, can also bring back uh, dead heroes. Forgot about that. So clearing out the evil castle. Is anyone taking this? No, not currently. That's fine. It's a statue. It's not really anything that requires immediate attention. I'm just going to upgrade the marketplace again, because why not? With okay, so we have 30 days now to collect 100,000 gold. Okay, that's fine. Well, once we clear out like all the dens and that sort of thing, we won't be spending all of our money on bounties, and we won't be spending all of our money on recruiting heroes. So, because they won't be dying anymore, or at least not to any significant degree. Okay. Okay. Good, 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 good. So many upgrades need to happen. Also, a ton of gold here. Where's my tax collector? I serve with pleasure. Uh why does he have no protection? Come on now. Oh, there we go. Beast approaches. I'm surprised that the tax collector has lived this long, to be honest. <laughs> oh, this poor city guard, though. Oh, no. No, don't die. Don't die. Can someone do something about this troll, please? Before he destroys my guardhouse yet again. Oh well, at least tax collector is leaving. It's fine. Uh, it's poor guardhouse. Alright, we'll just bump his pickup a little bit so he doesn't waste his time on picking up like ten gold from across the map, and we'll just go like, oh, here's two thousand gold. Let me get that. Okay, please don't die. Castle right there. Go go put money in in the vault. The royal treasury is nearly empty. There we go. Okay, so there's nothing there. Um these all need to go away. At last. No. Now serves you better. I'm surprised this guardhouse survived. Wait. Where'd the troll go? No idea. 
That's Sovereign, all right. A building has been upgraded. Sure. My services may help. Let's see. Okay, so what all do we actually have left on the map? Um, we have the dark castle, the three creature dens, and the statue. And that's it. Okay. Run! Run! Wait, do you not have a teleportation amulet? Oh. One step closer. To Ring of protection. Please don't die. Oh. Yeah, it's on a healing potions. You're fine. <laughs> uh. right, we'll take a library. Why not? I think we can get some money out of libraries, so. I know. Veteran guards, so hopefully they last a little longer. Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. Tax collector. Please don't destroy my marketplace. It's literally my only source of income. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. It's not, not my only source, but it is the most significant contributor to my income. Uh, we're, we're gonna build another guardhouse. This is silly. Yeah, we'll just put another guardhouse in because this is silly that there's not at least a distraction to keep the trolls off. Uh. Okay, so no we can build a building is complete. Trading post. Sure, right there. That's fine. Uh, we should actually upgrade the castle at some point too, because having a second tax collector means we can collect money more frequently and not just have it sitting around in giant chunks all day. Or in giant pools, I guess. Then hopefully we can just stop spending money and just uh, accumulate a whole bunch in the next 25 days? It's 40 days, right? Maybe we have 40 days? Yes, 40 days. Okay. So we have 25 days left to just accumulate uh, 100,000 gold. Yep. Sure. So hopefully the guard helps with the very least uh, be a distraction for all the trolls and everyone else coming in to uh, try and destroy my marketplace. Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. Uh, can't build a second marketplace. Oh, it's expensive though. Your Majesty, Probably our worth new it. Building is complete. This poor guard is about to get very crushed very quickly. Oh. Oh well. Oh well, but that does mean that, you know, the guard house is doing its entire function, which is <laughs> distracting the troll. <laughs> so, it did its job. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. Okay, so that building's gone. I think we've actually knocked out all of the uh, the buildings on the map, so it's literally just a matter of generate all the gold. Oh, hey, thanks for the house. Building has been upgraded. Uh, Zerfall, yeah. Hey, Zerfall, thanks for the host. Uh, do I want veteran? You know what? Veteran guards is probably a good idea. Because otherwise those guards are just very squishy. 
<laughs> Wait, Your Highness. The... Oh, they had a teleportation ring, didn't they? Okay. Upgrade the castle so we have a second tax collector, and then I think we're good. Hey, Zerfall, it's going pretty well. Just uh, finally getting back into a little bit of majesty again. Uh, first mission night so far, off to a good start. Uh, you know, haven't had to uh, restart yet. Keep forgetting our wizards are very squishy though, and they uh, <laughs> uh we're, we're down to one again. <laughs> Like I, so the, uh, the mission we're on now, deal with the demon, is we have 40 days to, jet to acquire 100,000 gold. Uh, is the current mission we're on. Uh, so it's like, well, I, I could build more marketplaces. I could recruit more heroes, but that costs money, <laughs> which I need to win the mission. <laughs> so it's like a very careful balance of. Uh, um, of spending versus saving or making like strategic upgrades and also remembering that I can oh remembering that I could build trade posts to generate more money but then they get squished by trolls <laughs> this caravan so caravan um so you have marketplaces that just generate passive gold you have um trade posts which my one trade post got destroyed but you have trading posts that will periodically send caravans to your marketplace and caravans will just have a giant chunk of gold in them so a little, a little bit extra income the downside you know is uh marketplaces and i want to say marketplaces inns and um trade posts all attract trolls like trolls will actually just spawn near them and just start attacking them because they're attracted to gold apparently and those are buildings that uh, generate quite a bit of it it's a fun little uh, fun bit of balance between like trying to protect versus trying to uh, save. I take the path less Where's the gambling hall? Which is an elven building um, that they apparently set up at some point. I've never had good luck with the gambling hall, so I just ignore it. But in theory, if you get some good RNG, you could just generate a giant chunk of change and be able to win the mission that way, but I've never had any good luck with it at all. It's just like, no, I, I just spent my kingdom's entire fortune on gambling. <laughs> mm. Okay, good. Guardhouse is fully upgraded. Is it worth building a second marketplace? Because marketplaces, when they're fully upgraded, do generate quite a bit of gold. But a second marketplace is kind of expensive right now. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Yeah, I, uh... There are some times where I actually do really well, but I think, um, uh, in Majesty specifically, I've never had good luck. <laughs> there are other games where I've managed to do, uh, reasonably well, but, yeah. Of course, your heroes will go gamble there, too, and all the income collected by the gambling hall is not taxable, so I can't... You know, my tax collectors don't just ignore it. They don't uh, don't do anything with it, which is a little frustrating when your heroes go take all of their hard-earned gold and just put it in the gambling hall and lose it all. Pestilence and decay. Okay, actually, how does this gambling hall work? It's been a while. Okay, so you're betting on a color, um, and potentially like in that payout. Okay, that's not. It's not pay taxes, yeah. So in theory, we could spin and go, nope, just skulls, you lose. <laughs> uh, sure, gold, why not? Nope. <laughs> Tax-free tax permit is likely a forgery. You know, it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Although there was a fun mechanic we had going on earlier where there was some neutral, uh, or at least not... Guilds that were there was a couple of rogues guilds that were not aligned to us. They were um, 
just kind of hanging out there. I put bounties on their guild halls to have them destroyed, and they claimed the bounties. They went and destroyed their own guild halls to uh, <laughs> to claim the bounty I put on them. I don't know if that's a bug or intended behavior, but uh, it worked out really well for me. <laughs> As it turns out the um, the rogue units are highly motivated. So the uh, rogue like hero units are highly motivated by rewards, like much more so than any other um, any of the other hero units. So you can put like a very low bounty on a building and they'll they'll just go for it, and then most of the time they'll get themselves killed because it's like a bandit lair or something. But in this case, it was their own guild hall, and they're just like, yeah, sure, we'll take that out for a hundred gold, no problem. <laughs> so I was like, okay. I'm not going to complain. That feels like a bug. Like, but I'm not going to complain about it, though. <laughs> All right, do we want their trade post? Probably. Eh. Majesty, your trading post now offers healing potions. I don't actually know if, if having them sell healing potions uh, makes the caravans bigger. I don't actually know... I don't know what determines the amount, the um, gold size of the caravan. I think it's distance. Like, I think distance from uh, Marketplace. It's emerging gameplay worked out really well. Uh, I'm... I suspect it's intended behavior and not a bug. So I, I think the, um, like, the lore behind it is these are... Uh, all the hero units are just mercenaries that you are hiring to your kingdom. So in theory, uh, rewards being placed out could be claimed by other uh, heroes as well. So in theory, like that that seems like that would be a feature, but at the same time, it's just like, surely there should be some sort of logic in there to not like destroy your own guild hall for... <laughs> we just need one last big score to get out of this lifestyle and retire. Good news, everyone. <laughs> There's a huge bounty on us. <laughs> You know, I could see that. I feel like I've read novels so like that, where that had a similar thing. It's just like, well, we want to get out of this and retire. Like, there's heat coming down on us. I know. Let's just, like, try and, like, rack up a big bounty on us and then claim it ourselves and just disappear in all the chaos. I could see that. <laughs> okay, so we're at 20k. I don't know if, um... So there's another building we get at tier 3, which is the uh, t level 3 palace, which is the, um... the fairgrounds. So you can, like, hold tournaments of, like, different types there, one sort of thing, and I think that generates gold. I just don't remember how much gold. Like, if it's actually worth it in this case. But, oh, well. We're doing pretty good. I... I kind of want to have another trading post, though, because I feel like having... Wait, why are you coming all the way... Oh, I forgot to change that right. It's like, why is he coming all the way out here for 20 gold? That That is just a terrible use of your time, buddy. Oh, well. Got those lovely indestructible sewer entrances. Which, I mean, it's next to an inn, so that, like, makes sense. It's, you know... Gotta deal with that waste somehow. Okay. So he's doing he's he's doing shop. He's we've only had one tax collector killed, and surprisingly, like that one collector held out for a really long time. Like he was doing really he was just zipping all over the place and like dodging monsters really well, but I think it was like uh I think he ran into a troll and the troll just just squashed him in like one swing. It was very sad. But but he, he was holding out like a champ. He was doing really well. And luckily, this map, because the elves aren't uh, betraying us, we don't have, you know, the, the 40 or 48 or however many it was uh, elves <laughs> just, like, constantly raiding our kingdom. So, yay for us. Now the map's just... So, uh, we've actually explored this whole map now. Um... So the entire map's explored. This one's actually a fairly small map. They do come in different sizes, um, kind of depending on the scenario. Uh, the elf one was definitely a, a much larger map, but this one's fairly small. We've explored everything. We've um, 
destroyed all of the, um, I guess, monster spawners. So like the, the creature dens, the evil castles, that sort of thing. So right now, the only things that will spawn monsters are sewer entrances, uh, graveyards, but we don't actually have any this time, somehow. Uh, we didn't kill enough heroes, I guess. So uh, sewer entrances and then trolls will just periodically spawn near giant pools of money. That's that's just what draws them in. So like they'll spawn near marketplaces, they'll spawn near um, like trading posts and that sort of thing. Things that they can squash fairly easily. I wonder if it's worth building. You know what? Yeah, we'll do it. We'll, we'll just we'll build another marketplace. It, it's going to be useless beyond just generating a ton of gold, but that's okay. Because <laughs> they they do bring in you know a good chunk of change, but they're also expensive. Because we have was it thirteen? Uh, okay, twelve days and change to uh, meet our goal, and we are nowhere near it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Houses generate money. Eh, they generate a little bit. They don't really generate a lot. Uh, I wonder if it be worth upgrading the blacksmith. Probably not. Uh, oh, re they reduce building prices. That's right. Eh. Uh, No, they, they don't really. I don't think they generate enough income to uh, be worth the investment. Although that does explain why I was having some buildings that were super cheap for a while, because apparently the blacksmith, that's uh, a thing they offer. Uh, I have anything else I can just generate like a ton of money. I, I think that's solely the marketplace. Your Majesty, our new building is complete. Yeah, no. Just the marketplace. <laughs> That's all right. Marketplace. I see. I, I one of the things the mechanics of it of Majesty that really annoys me is that building upgrade is that upgrades that you research in a building are not global. They are unique per building so like i have a fully upgraded Pestilence marketplace surely building a second marketplace i should already have all those items researched but no Sovereign, your marketplace now serves you better I take nope a gotta blessing. gotta research them for every building so which it's a mechanic i'm not super happy with although that could very well be because i my, my first like rts type game was age of empires where all of your um, all your various uh, researches and upgrades were global, so you would research it once and then it would just stay there. Even if you destroyed the building, uh, your unit upgrades would still apply and that sort of thing. So when you rebuild the building, uh, you, know, you didn't have to re go through and research all of your uh, upgrades again. But that was the thing I really enjoyed about Age of Empires, and uh, I think every other RTS I ever play, I'm just like, why can't you do it this way? <laughs> A building has been upgraded. Do libraries generate money? Wild no, but they reduce research character. costs. Good to know. Hmm. Nope. I think it's really just the marketplace that does it. Oh well. Alright. We're at 30,000. We have 10 days left. I think we can do this. So we just need like 70k more, but I think we can do this now that Sovereign, all of the threats of the realm have been you removed. Uh, so we're not like spending all of our money on heroes anymore because they're not dying. So I, I, I think we can do this. Realism, build up a supermarket, still need to start a town square and work way up. That, that's true. But I feel like if you already have a fully developed market, like the cost for bringing up a second market shouldn't be as significant. Like it, I could still see like starting at like a small marketplace and having to do like the level upgrades. 
but surely if you've already researched how to make healing potions, for example. I, I feel like we shouldn't have to refigure out how to do that. We can just go next door and steal their notes when they're not looking. I mean, borrow their notes. I mean, ask politely for their notes. <laughs> they're not looking. <laughs> but, yeah. Unless we're just like spawning a whole new shop and it's just they don't talk to each other for some reason I guess I can see that like yeah competing businesses that don't want to share to their uh, their super secret family recipe for uh, healing potions I guess I can see that too Uh Ice Mountain Gold Pulse Return are based on size of your kingdom and level of your... Oh, okay. I missed that note. So, how, so there, there is actually a reason to upgrade the palace. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, we need heroes to upgrade the palace. Uh, heroes cost money. <laughs> uh. In all fairness, I, when I started the mission, I probably shouldn't have bought a bunch of wizards. I probably should have spent my money on... Uh, units that are less squishy, uh, but oh well. Uh, let's see. Okay, so to upgrade the palace, we need five more heroes. Uh, so that's gonna be a couple thousand gold for the heroes, and it's gonna be like three or four k for the upgrade. Uh, not sure. I like uh, like for that like how the math on that works out. I'm kind of hoping that profits are not split between two marketplaces, so, uh, and it doesn't look like that's the case. Although this this marketplace started generating much less as soon as this one was built. Hmm, are they just stealing business from each other? Is that what's happening here? Or the tax collector just happened to come through, I guess. Where's my other tax collector? Pestilence and decay. Uh, oh. Okay, so he's chilling over there. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, he must have been going over to collect from here. Okay, that's fine. Just don't want my tax collectors wandering off and uh, taking a nap somewhere. They they have work to do. Like this is the one of the few missions where they're actually like critical pieces to the uh <laughs> to winning the game or winning the uh, the, the scenario anyways uh, does your guilds generate money probably not enough to justify that cost though <laughs> three gold yeah yeah okay i'll i'll, I'll save my gold caravan Okay, Mount Gold carried is, is multiplied by the level of the marketplace upon delivery. Oh, okay. So caravan of 360 gold delivers to level three marketplace. So they multiply it by three and get like a thousand gold-ish somewhere around there. Okay. I, I forgot about that mechanic. Uh, does this say? Uh, doesn't say. Okay, it doesn't say how much or what what contributes to the initial amount of the caravan. That's alright. Hmm. So we have five days to generate 5,500 gold. Hmm. I don't think we're gonna do it. I'm curious now, though. Um. I wonder if I should have built a um, a fairgrounds. I th so you can hold tournaments there, and I wonder if those actually just generate a significant portion of income. Hmm. I take the path less traveled. I forgot how much market day does. I take the path less 
I take the path less traveled. Nope. At least should be Betty on blue. And this can be like, nope, skulls. <laughs> I actually wonder if this is rigged so that it's the if it comes up as your winning uh, color, it actually just gives you skulls instead. <laughs> just as a money sink. I can see that. <laughs> just as a... Uh, <laughs> uh, just, to, uh, just to mess with the player. I feel like that, that's a thing that they would have done. Okay, no, no, I guess I guess it is possible to win money from them. Just my luck is very, very poor. I face death with renewed strength. Traveling to distant lands. Are you just leaving? Oh, okay. I, I guess my ranger decided he was done and just wandered off the map. Okay. <laughs> Are you going to come back at any point? <laughs> no? Okay. Uh, what does it say? Okay, so I have two rangers that are traveling to distant lands. Okay. I hope they come back. <laughs> Pestilence and decay. Okay, how am I wi how's my single wizard doing? Okay, he's... Alive? So they are so very squishy, and they, for whatever reason, they refuse to just disengage from a battle when it gets into melee. Like, they're just like. They're ranged units, but as soon as they get into melee, instead of going, oh, maybe I should run, they, they just keep trying, and it does not work out well for them. That glorious four hit points that they start with, yeah. <laughs> Uh, that, that's basically a sewer rat sneezes on them, and they're done for. Okay. So let's see. 3k there. I think a tax collector just came through here. Are you willing to flirt with death? Okay, so so we're, we're not going to do 50, like 50k in a day and change. That's just not happening. Okay. So, new strategy. Uh... <laughs> Actually, I'm curious what a market day. Ah, uh, that's not even worth it. So it, it like doubled the the golden coffers and then closes down for day. That's not worth it at all. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. Okay. So let's restart, and this time, okay. I, I think I, I think I know where I went wrong on this before. Last time I spent a lot of money immediately on uh, like wizards who are very squishy and were are expensive, squishy, and probably not a very good choice for this. Uh, whereas warriors, uh, rangers, and the crypto priestesses, for some weird reason, are surprisingly durable. <laughs> So I, I think that's part of where I went wrong before. Was just not. I uh, was just spending my money in the wrong place. Because wizards are 500 apiece, and I was just going through them super fast. This now belongs to Crypta. Your Highness, we've improved the Godhouse. Let's okay, so get that rolling. Uh, let's see. We need a marketplace because we don't start with one. Marketplace, also a guardhouse. Got that never give up attitude. They even give up their lives to never give up. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. But unfortunately it does mean uh it does mean I'm spending an awful lot of gold on them. <laughs> I do like their their uh, can do attitude though. Okay. Who knew that necromancers were, uh, <laughs> were, were surprisingly intelligent and would uh, stick around for quite a while? He's surprisingly good at the whole not dying thing. Your 
Majesty, our new building is complete. Okay, so we've got... Your marketplace now serves and I think that was, that's probably something we should have done as well, is we should have upgraded the palace to max level, I think. That was... That's something I was just like, eh, we don't really need that, but I, I guess that affects marketplaces, so... Probably should have done that. Sovereign, your marketplace now serves you better. Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. And I'm out of money again. <laughs> That's okay, we have 38 days to figure it out. <laughs> I join the wild spirits. Oh uh, yeah, that's right, the rogues are back, because we haven't destroyed them yet. Or rather, we didn't pay them to... I, I think of it less as they destroyed themselves, and more we paid them to leave. I, I think is how that actually worked out. <laughs> We're just like, here's a bag of gold, please leave. Let's see. Okay, where's my tax collector? I I just heard him. He's around here somewhere. Oh, he was hiding behind the uh, hiding behind behind the wizard's tower. Which I mean, if, if you're looking for protection from monsters, I, I feel like hiding in the wizard's tower is probably a, a pretty safe bet. One step I feel like most people are generally gonna leave a uh, you know, wizard's tower alone for a while. Don't want to be turned, you know, be turned into a frog or something unnatural. You know. Okay, so the one he the the one hero claiming the bounty on the rogues guild is a rogue. Maybe one from that guild. Maybe one from one of the other guilds. Because <laughs> I don't have any rogues. What a delicious reward. I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, what is the... Wh where's this guy going? Why... So he walked over to see what all the commotion was, went, Oh, it's just the, the rogues doing their thing, and then decided to turn around and leave? I mean... Alright. I feel like the, there's better things he probably could have been doing with his time, but yeah, sure. Oh wait, I already researched that? No, I didn't. There we go. That is an interesting, um... Interesting design, like, decision that they made for this game is you can't research an upgrade the in a Highness, building if it's damaged. So, like, you can't train your guards to be better, you can't, like, go to the blacksmith and research better weapons if the building has taken damage. You have to wait for your peasants to come repair it, and then they can, uh, you know, resume their research of whatever it was they were looking at. Interesting choice. Uh, Another day, Crypta. Foul beast approaches. I don't think if there's any other games that it, that took, made a similar choice of uh, requiring buildings to be completely healthy for upgrades. Plus, at least I, I know that the rogues are very cheap and will totally take out their own guild hall for uh, for very little, so I can actually save money there. I'm surprised all the knights are still alive. I'm not gonna complain. Just that means I'm not spending money to to try and hire more, but. Uh, I feel like the, at least one of them should have been squished. Your Majesty, the royal treasury is nearly empty. Sovereign, your marketplace now serves you better. Oh, did a priestess die? Really? Oh. Okay.
see. Alright, so we've taken out- oh, okay, so we do have one rogue seal left. Luckily, the, uh, rogues will help themselves to that. Um, yeah. Then we've just got the dark castle, the evil castle, and I think there's a third creature den around here somewhere. So the land is almost back to where we left it. Now let's see if we can, uh, uh, go about generating more income. Wait, where's oh there is. Hold your majesty. Like to oblivion. Tax collector number three. Oh, so I went through Another two tax collectors already. Oh no. So disappointed. My uh the, the tax collectors in the previous game were much more resilient. I'm I'm a little a little sad I couldn't bring them with me. Okay, so we're 2,000 gold short. Uh, that's, that's okay. Alright. Upgrade that, so that way we're getting as much as we can, and then we can focus on the castle. Okay, so level 2 castle, we only need 4 heroes, but level 3, we needed 12. Do we have 12 heroes? 4, 8, 11. Ah, okay, we're one short. There we go, problem solved. A building has been upgraded! All the heroes. And just no wizards because they're very squishy. And I, in the previous attempt, they were, we were not getting a lot of value out of them, in my opinion. Definitely not worth the price tag, but I think there's other missions where they actually are, uh, like, much more uh, useful. But, yeah. Just this one, I, I think they can take a break this time. Like, I think that's okay. Castle, castle. I'm surprised I haven't more haven't had more heroes just turned to stone. Is that a thing? Okay, so I can cast petrify. Huh. Can Medusa not petrify? I mean that that's a little disappointing. Uh At last. No? Says that there are melee fighters. That's a little disappointing. And hit point this poor house. Making progress. At last. Run, tax collector, flee! Robin, There's a giant troll behind you. Now serves you better. I'd be very sad if that that troll uh, got to you. Actually, I mean, I'd be a little sad. You, you don't have any gold on you right now, so. I wouldn't be losing anything, but I would be a little sad. Oh, this, this guy, this poor city guard. I serve with pleasure. Actually, the if, if the guardhouse can the guard distract the troll while the, the guard stabs him from behind, that might actually work. Oh, yeah. Well, so much for that plan. Hold your Majesty. Upgrade. No. Actually, if the tax collector was picked up everything out of the marketplace and then just took it back, like then I could upgrade. 
So close. An unwelcome guest. No. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna walk right into that troll. Uh, I, I feel like the minions in here may be uh, not as, as bright as they could be. I feel like if he's if he's pathfinding to the nearest like drop off point, he's like, well, I'm going to the castle, but there's a giant troll standing in front of the door. Maybe I should choose a an alternate drop off point, you know, like the guardhouse that was right behind him, <laughs> instead of charging forward with a giant bag of gold and hoping that he makes it through. Your Majesty. Treasury is nearly empty. I know it's nearly empty. I just spent all of it to upgrade the castle. Or Alice, whatever. It's a castle. Actually, what is the difference between a castle and a palace? Is it are, are they just two different names for the same thing? Okay, so we're down another priestess. Okay, not the end of the world. Your Highness, ah, the palace renovations are finished. Your Highness, the elves wish to join our prosperous kingdom. That's nice. The elves were kind of rude to us, though, in, in the last mission. I, I'm not sure I want to uh, encourage them right now. Castle upgraded. So, oh, we need two more heroes. Oh, excellent. Easy enough to do. How much is it to upgrade? Uh, oh, it doesn't say. That's disappointing. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that city guard is doing surprisingly well. Foul beast approaches. I, I mean, ultimately, he still wasn't a match for a troll, but definitely lasted a lot longer though than a standard city guard. Oh, wait, is he out of range of the, the guardhouse for the arrows? Oh. Okay, how much do we need? Oh, well, it's only 3,000? Oh, I thought it was much more expensive than that for... If all my heroes could just stay alive just long enough for me to hit the upgrade button, that'd be great. Okay, for some reason I thought uh, uh, the, the third upgrade was much more expensive than that. All right, well... Three tax collectors? Oh my. What am I going to do with so many tax collectors? Your Highness, the palace renovations are finished. Okay, so fairgrounds. Um, new tournaments, they can purchase training. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it generates a lot of gold. Definitely need a second uh, marketplace, though. Like we, uh, I think we realize that that's a good decision. Down here. It's a nice caravan. Let's see. So 
we should have a third tax collector somewhere. Modesty! Your trading post now offers healing potions. There he is. All right, there we go. Let's build a fairgrounds. I, I feel like they don't generate that much gold, but maybe they do. Your I don't Majesty, know. our new building is complete. Gold, your Majesty. All right, fairgrounds. Let's give this a try. I know. Okay. Nice. Her gold. Okay. Your marketplace now serves you better. Not gonna complain about that. Oh, I guess we could have multiple trading posts. That might be uh, might be something we should do. Your Majesty, we'll uh, our new building is complete. Okay, so there are some distance restrictions, but not that bad. Sovereign, your marketplace now serves you better. Your Majesty, shall we host a tournament now? Uh, we could. Let's see. Okay, sure. We'll, we'll hold a melee contest. Your Majesty, our new building is complete. I have no idea how much gold that actually generates, though. I'm hoping a lot. But I don't remember. I take the path less. Modesty! Your trading post now offers healing potions! Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. Pestilence and decay. That certainly is a greeting, I suppose. Yeah. Actually, you know, it fits if you're like a necromancer. Sovereign, your marketplace now serves you better. I wonder if I switch it to a, a mixed contest if I'll get more heroes. I honestly don't know. Oh well. The problem with fairgrounds though is they're such a high, um, like they're they're a very like into your building, so generally don't get to them very often. Do royal gardens generate money? <gasps> they do. Oh. How did I forget that? You know, I don't know. But we're definitely gonna build one though. A little spendy, but if they generate gold, I'm all for it. Pestilence and decay. One step to oblivion. Bursarian Headlopper. Well, that is certainly a name. They're Norvis Knightly. Mm hmm. Versus Strongwill. Okay. I assume Brave Sir Robin is in the list somewhere. Your Majesty, yes. our new building is complete. Sovereign, a we have her the priestesses. Upgraded. Uh, Sister Voidra, Sister Dread. Okay. I mean, they, they're all very fitting names. Pestilence and decay. 
now beast approaches. Oh, wait, why do we have a fountain now? Uh, ex so the fountain grants us an extra tax collector? Uh, visible enhancements to your settlements, such as fountains, allow more tax collectors to make rounds without upsetting your populace. Oh, yeah, of course, because if you give the citizens a pretty fountain, they won't mind being taxed more often. <laughs> okay. How did this get generated, though? Uh... I have no idea. It just kind of appeared. Also, there's like a gazebo down here now. Huh. I have no idea where all these things are coming from. Are these, I wonder if these are just, um, uh, just kind of side effects of being a high level palace. I have no idea. Not gonna complain though. Which is another trading post? Um, oh, expensive. All right, maybe, maybe we'll do another. Maybe we'll just stick with the two. Okay, so this marketplace has 3k gold. This one had had 3k. Okay, so so maybe that, that was what we were missing last time, was we, we actually did need to upgrade the castle to max level. One step closer to oblivion. Okay. Sovereign, your marketplace now hmm, so fairgrounds by themselves don't seem to generate a lot of money, but every time a hero uh, enrolls in a competition, they pay an entrance fee, so I guess that works. Oh, what's happening here? Don't destroy my house. I mean, it's not my house, it's someone's house, though. Probably shouldn't destroy that. So, so fairgrounds actually are kind of useful after all. Never mind then. So there was one ranger who's just zipping around. I wonder if he has like a special item or something. Hmm. It's none that stands out. Oh well. I wonder if they can pick up like artifacts um, when they're off visiting ancient lands or distant lands. Anyways, that'd be interesting. Like if they go off exploring off map and come back with like a uh, artifact that gives them extra speed or something or invisibility. That'd be pretty neat. Oh wow, that's a lot of heroes competing at the fairgrounds. Okay, maybe I should have. I should actually pay more attention to fairgrounds then. Hmm. Okay, that that fountain is obno obnoxiously loud. Is there a way that I can just like make it? Not as loud. Nope, it is just a very loud fountain. Okay. No. There's like a. Uh. What would that be? Sound effects? Hmm.
I have no idea. That for some reason that's just absurdly loud. I face death with renewed strength. Let's see. Alright, so I got a couple of caravans coming on a regular basis. Good. Plenty of gold in the uh, marketplaces. Okay. We might actually be able to do this. So we have the four, like 13 days and change uh, to get, what is that, like 58k? 57k? Yeah, I, I, think, I think we got it this time. I know I said that last time, and that definitely wasn't the case, but I, I think we got it this time. As long as my tax collectors don't die. Hey, have I lost any? It doesn't look like it. Wait, nope. Nope, that one's the same. Where's my other two? Okay. And then... Nope, oh, that's not what I was looking for. I have no idea. I think the fourth tax collector realized that he could just slack off and go hide somewhere. Like, there, there's enough of them running around. They won't notice if I'm just slacking off. Feeling behind the wizard's tower. generated from stock of rare flowers herbs. Okay. I was hoping it would generate more gold than that, but okay. Yeah, sure. Bye. Well, I think building the gardens is what gave us the fountain and the gazebo, so. It has some other bonus effects, you know, like another tax collector, so sure. Let's see. So there's a speed up button. That's fancy. Wild adventure builds character. Does it show anywhere on screen what the current game speed is? No. <laughs> I can slow it way down. There, there's no indicator of, of where the game speed is actually set. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, so we have 10 days, we need like 32k. I, I think we got this. Now I'm ready for anything. Uh, I was hoping for like a list of key bindings so I could figure out how to set the speed back to normal, but <laughs> nope. No, we're, we're stuck in fast forward mode now. <laughs> <laughs> To oblivion. Was this like seven and a half days and we need 12k? 11k? 10 and a half k? Yeah, yeah, we're. I think we're good. Oh, look there. Two caravans in a row. Nice. Okay. Okay, so I think that was, that was the strategy, I think, is we needed. 
to, to get the palace fully upgraded. Um, so two marketplaces fully upgraded, palace fully upgraded, and then fairgrounds. I think are um, let's see, two trading posts, and then I don't think the fairgrounds are doing a lot, but they're they're, they're doing an okay amount. So like I think throwing the fairgrounds in there uh, is, is definitely helping. I don't know about the royal gardens though. It doesn't seem to generate all that much. Are you Okay. All right. We're we're we're, the, we're almost there. We need like twenty gold, twenty one gold in the next four days. I think we got this. Like literally the next next tax collector to just walk into a guardhouse. We'll we'll win the mission. We are victorious, Your Majesty. There we go. Finally. Uh, yeah, I think you the lesson it, from this majesty. is don't make a Once deal with demons. Once that creature like, was given the gold, he vanished in a puff of foul green smoke. Again. All in attendance felt compelled to immediately wash the stench from their clothes. May that repellent manifestation never again threaten our kingdom. I gotta say, d despite some of the quirks in the game mechanics, I do love the uh the, the dialogue and the writing in in the game <laughs> especially the advisor <laughs> uh, I, I do really enjoy it oh i should have seen how many peasants we killed oh well okay so i i think i think that was probably one of my least favorite missions so elven treachery and deal with the demon are i think are probably my two two of my least favorite missions See, what do we got here? Uh, Dark Forest, Vengeance of the Lich Queen, Holy Chalice, Magic Ring, Best for the Crown, which I believe those three are needed for. Um, like, they actually have special significance, I think, for the storyline. Or they're just needed for unlocking the secrets. Yeah, I, I don't remember. Uh, Best for the Magic Ring, maybe? That or free the slaves. Actually, free the slaves might be good. Let's, let's, we'll, we'll just work our way Disturbing east. I think. Have reached my ears, Majesty. There are many reports of villagers gone missing near um, the edge of town. Oh no! Fearful whispers speak of some foul creature who has been harvesting the unwitting as slaves for its diabolic schemes. Oh no! Panic is beginning to well within the village. Something must be done, Your Highness, or we face a grave crisis. I suggest you initiate efforts to recover these people and to rid the land of this frightful menace. Yeah, that's no good at all. We don't want our people being just randomly kidnapped from town. Let's see. Uh, destroy four slave hits, release all the slaves, and then kill Earl Sheck, the three-headed beast. All right, that, that actually seems fairly straightforward. Let's see, there was, there was no restrictions on any of those, so... We can build all the buildings, we can recruit everyone. There's no, uh, what am I looking for? Uh, ranger skill, there it is. There's no, uh, no time limit, which is great. I, I really don't like the maps with time limits. Oh no, why do we have a gnome hovel? <gasps> why do we have a gnome hovel? Uh... Don't actually know. We have a lot of gnome hot. Wait, when did these appear? I thought we just had the rogue guild. I don't remember the gnome hovels being here at all. A new building is complete. Uh. Uh, additional gnome hovels built on Ackley's recruit. Yep, yep, we knew that. Uh. And on the plus side, they're super cheap, but I don't remember building the first one. Okay. Sure. Again, on the plus side, they are super cheap, so...
see build and repair yep uh attracts other gnomes yeah yeah do not count towards heroes needed for palace upgrades oh that, that's unfortunate um gold, your majesty yeah, so the thing with the, the so the thing with the gnomes is they are they're super cheap, uh, and they they also function as sort of um, auxiliary peasants for lack of a better phrase. Um, so they they'll help build and repair and like that sort of thing, uh, which can be super useful if you're trying to uh, expand out super quickly or you just have a bunch that you need to like repair. The downside to them is that they're terrible at combat. Uh, they don't count towards your palace upgrades, so you still have to pay real heroes. And uh, they lock out elves and dwarves. So th there's three. So, you know, we, we play humans and that's just we don't have a choice in the matter. Um, so we, we are always human. There are three other races that can potentially come join us. Uh, so that's the elves, the dwarves and the gnomes. If you have any one of the three races, it locks out the other two. So if you have gnomes, you don't get elves or um, don't get elves or dwarves. If you have elves, you don't get dwarves or gnomes because reasons. And of course, if you have dwarves, you don't get the other two. So typically, like you can get gnomes at palace level one, but then elves and dwarves are palace level two. So gnomes can be super useful in like early game, but once you have them, you're locking yourselves out of the, the more powerful elves and dwarves. Uh, the queen of a nearby settlement has sent you a healthy sum of gold and please with you to find out what has happened to some of her missing subjects. Oh, okay, so it's not just our subjects that are being kidnapped from the uh, uh, from the villages. It, it's nearby kingdoms as well. Oh. oh, we should definitely get to the bottom of that. That's that's not fun at all. And my poor tax lifter is just getting murdered again. Oh, I don't have guards. Shit. I forgot we, we started a new map. <laughs> so therefore no guards uh, have to re reestablish my settlement all over again this time with gnomes because reasons uh... your majesty a new building is complete <laughs> yep that is uh... a <laughs> that's certainly a voice line your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. Maybe I can just have all the gnome hovels destroyed, and then I can have. So let's. <laughs> okay, so I can destroy most buildings. So I can destroy like my own, like guilds, my own guardhouse. Can't destroy gnome hovels. The only way to destroy them is to have something else destroy them. So in theory, you could place a bounty on them and try to deal with them the same way uh, we dealt with the rogues in the previous mission. But uh, yeah, you can't just get rid of them, which is kind of disappointing. Um, oh, we need a marketplace. I believe we waited, waited this long for it. Oh, well. I mean, to be fair, we are mostly just exploring right now, and rangers are really good at exploring and staying alive, which are two very important uh, things. The queen of the nearby kingdom has Your again Highness, sent you some gold and uh, aid. So, oh, wow. Has Your again Majesty, sent you some gold to aid in your search for the missing complete. heroes, and says after this she'll no longer be able to aid you, as the goblins are making a heavy incursion into her land. That, that is understandable. Okay, so these are all indestructible. The pit, however, is not. I think if we destroy the pit, like, all the crosses will be, uh, pulled down. So. Okay, so we've got the marketplace, got healing potions. Do I have any of the temples? No, no, those are... you get those at level 2. Okay. Well, let's get some warriors in here. Sovereign, your marketplace now serves you better. Oh, we don't have a blacksmith either. We are just slacking on everything today, apparently. Blacksmith in there. Oh, I just realized I should have put the guardhouse by the marketplace. Oh, well. That's fine. We'll just hire an army of gnomes to, <laughs> to come stand guard in front of the marketplace. <laughs> 
That's fine, right? I join the wild spirits. Oh, darn. I wonder if that, if that ranger just didn't have any Your healing Majesty, potions. Probably. Is it's a fairly recent addition to Come our in. kingdom. Your marketplace now serves you better. Good. Your Majesty, now upgrade the marketplace so we can, complete. you know, continue serving Sovereign, the community better. Has been now to just spend all the money. Especially since we don't have to stockpile a hundred thousand of it this time. Sheesh. Majesty, the local blacksmith offers new services. Does upgrading give the Okay, so it is the upgrade that gives the uh, ability to poison weapons. Okay. Cool. Better weapons, better armor. Yep. Rings of protection. Good. Wait, maybe our heroes won't die as quickly. Sovereign, a huh. building has been upgraded. Majesty, okay, so this is an interesting choice in exploring the map. We've explored like Sovereign, diagonally the, this half, like, in a weird diagonal pattern. We haven't even touched any of this up here. What that's all about? You know what? Send a ranger up there, or someone who wants a uh, reward flag. Someone who wants 100 gold, please go to the far reaches of our kingdom and tell me what's there. <laughs> oh, we have... Oh, we did free a couple of slave pits. Okay. So we're making progress there. How many slave pits have we done? I've, uh, have we found all four? Uh, we've definitely found three. I don't know if we've found four. Oh, right, and gnomes don't pay taxes either. Of course they don't. Why would they pay taxes? Why is it nobody in my kingdom pays taxes? Like, that that's how I provide better services for you. <laughs> Pay your taxes, please. <laughs> like, I want to give you a better blacksmith, but I can't because no one's paying their taxes. <laughs> I would love to expand the marketplace and offer you the most amazing of things to buy, but no one's paying their taxes, so I can't afford it. <laughs> Oh, I destroyed a slave pit and freed the nearby slaves. Yay. Oh? That's a house. That is not an outpost. The inhabitants of this building agree to join your kingdom. Yay. That's not an outpost. That's literally someone's house. Totally different. Skeleton? Wait, do we have a charm skeleton for some reason? Why? We don't have any... Like, we don't have any necromancers. That shouldn't be a thing. Oh, we do have a necrom... Wait, why do we have a necromancer? Oh, was she in one of the slave hits that we freed? Is that what happened? Oh. Okay. That's, I'm fine with that. Let's see. Is anyone claiming this? No. Here. Maybe an extra hundred gold Sovereign, will uh, entice someone to wander Sovereign, to the far reaches of the Empire. Or at least the, the far reaches of the map, yeah. Uh, no. At least not yet, anyways. Your Majesty. 
given time, though, they, they might uh, change their mind, but... I serve with pleasure. More gold, your majesty! So here's an interesting thought. I don't have a guild hall for the, the necromancer, so where where exactly is she staying then? Because they the heroes go back to their guild halls to rest up. Uh, hmm. That's also where they hide when they're getting their asses handed to them by uh, uh by some monster on the map. Oh, damn it. Oh, right, I forgot. Ratman will. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need a guardhouse over there. I forgot that. Ratman will steal all your money. This guy is... Th this Ratman has stole over a thousand gold from our kingdom. He went over, pilfered the marketplace, took like a thousand gold from there, and then took another hundred from the blacksmith. Like, absolute menace to our uh, society here. Yeah, no, we're, we're building another guardhouse over here. I don't know why I didn't build it over there to begin with, but oh well. That's why no one's paying their taxes, because the ratmen keep coming and taking all the taxes. Oh shit, wait, what is what is all this going on? Oh. Your Majesty, oh. Our new uh, is complete. Where did all the rats come from? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Why are there so many rats? <laughs> uh, where are all my heroes? Uh, heroes? Oh, they're all dead. That's why. Uh, at least I can still recruit people while their buildings are slowly being destroyed. That's fine. <laughs> On the plus side, they're just rats, so the, in theory, they're a nice little, uh, little bit of XP for the, all the heroes, so. Easy grinding. <laughs> oh god, this poor blacksmith. <laughs> Being kept alive solely by the efforts of all the peasants and, like, the, no the gnomes that are there just trying to repair it. <laughs> So we survived somehow. But that was close. Where did all the rats come from? I don't think I've ever seen like a giant rat swarm before. That was kind of cool. Annoying, Your but Highness, cool. We've improved the guardhouse. Oh shit! When did we get one of these guys? Oh, they must have been in the slave pit. And we also have like a healer. Let a brother help. Okay. That's right, I forgot. The healer, um, if you have clerics, or like the healer temple and recruit clerics, they will follow like parties of adventurers and just heal them the whole time. Which is really cool. Uh, destroy a slave pit, great. Your Majesty, the royal treasury is nearly empty. Majesty, a newly discovered outpost has agreed to join your kingdom. Yes, Majesty, this is an outpost. This is a house. Outpost has agreed to join your <laughs> just, just to be clear on that. <laughs> Majesty, your trading post now offers healing potions. Okay, amulets of protection. How many gnomes do we have left? Just the one. Uh, I don't know that I want more, to be honest. Unfortunately, I can't get rid of them, so... Uh, Sovereign, your marketplace now serves you better. 
Okay, I, I th so I think we've got all the slate now. I think we're missing a slave pit. So I think if we got all the slave pits, it would be like, hey, go murder this guy who's conveniently now appeared on the map. Like I. Majesty. Oh. <laughs> a local blacksmith <laughs> offers new services. Majesty, a newly discovered outpost has agreed to join your kingdom. All right, let's see if we can actually hang on to our gold this time, <laughs> instead of having just a giant swarm of rat men <laughs> kill for our entire village. Mm. Oh, we have a paladin? Oh. Getting all sorts of just random heroes out of the slave pits, that's kind of cool. Who do we have left, though, is a better question. Uh... Oh, we have several paladins. A healer, um... We have a healer, a necromancer, um... Uh, I forgot what those guys are, like Knights of Discord. Okay. And then just tons of gnomes for some weird reason. Which I'm definitely not recruiting, but we're still, like, they're just showing up. Oh, did they get crushed by a troll? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Alright, veteran cars, and then I think we're good there. I think we actually upgraded the castle after that. Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. Wait, do we want healers or necromancer? I think we're gonna want healers for this. Because we do have to kill like a mini boss type uh, uh, creature. So having our heroes not die would be nice. <laughs> so I, I think healers are what we're gonna go with this time. Oh good, Minotaur is just chilling in an unexplored part of the map. Yeah, that's not going to end badly for anyone. No, no, it's, it'll be fine. Oh, okay, so this is where the last slave pit is. So, so we were missing one. Okay, that's fine. We'll let that work itself out. Yeah, okay, so this is the last slave pit. I'm guessing that the guy we're looking to kill doesn't actually appear until we've destroyed all of them. So maybe we'll hold off on destroying this for a moment so we can make some preparations. That seems like a seems like a reasonable idea. Whether or not it's a good one is a different story, but What, like 35 gold short? Uh, 38? Yeah, 38, 38 gold sounds right. Wait, what? It's a rat. It, oh, wait, no, there's rat men as well. Stop destroying my castle. Like, you have all these other buildings you could be going after, but you're like, nah, we're gonna go destroy the palace. Oh, fancy. All right, I should have a second. You won't get my gold. Do I not have a second tax collector? Huh. Oh, maybe he just hasn't been spawned yet. There he is. That was weird. Okay, well. All right, so we need clerics. Sure. That seems like a good place for a temple. I serve with pleasure. Oh, so we could also do a temple to Daros. Okay. 
All right, they're not exclusive. Ah, oh, that's where you get monks from. Okay. Your Majesty, our new building is complete. Halt. Gold, your Majesty. That was a thing. Why do we suddenly have so much gold? That's weird. Like we went from having no gold to suddenly having almost ten thousand. That's that's weird. Our new building is complete. In the name of the sovereign. My ambition. Let's see, upgrading just gives us our spell. Okay. Probably not needed right now. I serve with pleasure. All right, need more healers. So. Sovereign. I have no idea where we got so much money from. Oh, these caravans. Oh, that's why. So these caravans are sending like 600 gold. So, so that's 1,800 gold that just shows up. <gasps> the troll murdered my tax collector who just collected taxes from the marketplace. Which means all that gold I am not going to see anymore. Ah. Trolls just ruin everything. <laughs> Uh. All right, so we've got a nice little, little, uh, I don't want to say army, but a, a collection of heroes who have been enlisted into uh, protecting the kingdom. You won't get my gold. Gee, I want, we might be able to, oh wait, why don't I have an inn? What the hell's wrong with me? Missing all the important buildings. All right, I'll throw an in down. And I think I, what do I not? Oh, I can't build a library because I haven't built the wizard's guild. I see, okay, well. What's the statue do? Uh, raises the loyalty of your heroes. Hmm. You know what, sure. We're gonna go fight like a mini boss anyway. So yeah, sure. Be loyal, heroes. I built a statue in your honor. <laughs> I mean, it's a it's a small statue, to, to be fair. But Your Majesty, you get... our new building is complete. Keep it coming. Your Majesty, our new building is complete. In the name of the sovereign. Can't believe I didn't have an end. I wonder how many heroes I lost because I didn't have a place for them to go back to. Oh well. Okay, well, I think we're ready now to take on the slave bit. This person is... oh, they're a paladin. Yeah, okay. Wild like, they're one step ahead of me. They're, they're already taking on the... <laughs> taking on the slave bit. Oh, this is where I get warriors. Okay, right. So that, that's a mechanic of um, of like a combination of uh, depending on what buildings you have. So uh, some of the, the some of the base buildings can recruit secondary hero types depending on what other buildings you have uh, built. So warriors, for example, or the warriors guild, you can, you can recruit warriors. Or if you have a, I believe it's the temple to Agrella, you can recruit paladins. And but if you have. I don't know if it's a temple to Crypta or it's it's one of the other temples. It might be Crypta that will instead give you the Warriors of Discord or the Knights of Discord or um, whatever they're called. I think you also get Barbarians with yet a different temple, kind of depending. And they're and they're all mutually exclusive temples, so you, you can only pick one. Um, I, I could swear I saw one of the knights running around somewhere. Um, oh shit. Oh, he's just heading. Yeah, no, he needs to be very dead. Uh, I wonder if we I, we had one right around earlier. It's one of the um, one of the dudes carrying the big sickles. 
Oh god, that beast is just beelining it right for town. <laughs> and no one wants to take him on for a thousand gold. I can't say I blame them. Um, I have... What happened here? I don't know. Uh, I wonder if he's chilling in the inn. Nope. Oh god. I was just gonna murder everything. Uh, so I was right, he doesn't spawn until you uh, oh, uh, destroy all the slave pits. Uh, this guy. Yeah, so, so these dudes, they carry like the giant sickles, the warriors of discords. I believe you can recruit them if you have... It's not Lunar, I, I think it actually is um, Crypta. Like if you have a Temple to Crypta, you can recruit these guys through the Warriors Guild. But since we have... I want to say it's a Grella. Since we have a Grella, we get uh, Paladins instead. We're all going to die very quickly. Uh, <laughs> uh, Earl Shek. Yep. It's like a little mini-boss character who just strolled straight into town because what are walls and is now just kind of murdering everybody. Which is, you know, kind of what we were expecting, to be honest. <laughs> like, this is in no way a surprise. <laughs> and it's also why I was holding off on destroying the last slave pit, because I knew he was going to spawn him. <laughs> Don't destroy the caravan, please. J just let it live. Praise <laughs> Doros! Just let it live. My prowesses are matched. We're gonna end up with another graveyard, aren't we? We are victorious, your majesty. We actually got it. Was I was I wasn't sure if we're going to or not. Our people are freed, and the Earl Sheck is dead. Bim the Hunter had offered to stuff and mount that insidious beast for display in your trophy room, but its body decayed at an alarming rate, leaving a caustic ooze. May this terrible presence never again threaten our people. We will be vigilant, your highness. All right, let's see. How'd we do? Um, so we made a lot of gold. We spent a lot of it, which is fair. Uh, heroes, buildings, uh, research. Reward flags. Yeah, that's because we dropped like a thousand on just the Earl Shack by itself. Uh, yeah, okay, so we actually kept most of our buildings. Oh man, lost 34 henchmen though. X. Oh, <laughs> heroes. <laughs> yeah, that's because the final fight, he just ravaged all of our heroes and just wiped out nearly all of them. Good job. Oh. All right. That one was fun. All right. So I think I'm going to take a quick BRB so I can go stretch, refill my water bottle, all that good stuff. And then when we get back, we will probably do quest for the magic ring. So switch that and I will be back in a few minutes.
Okay, so let's get back into this. We just finished up Free the Slaves, which I thought, which, I mean, so it's marked as advanced, but I feel like it was a lot easier than Elven Treachery or Deal with the Demon. Like, I really don't like uh, maps that have uh, time limits on them, but that's just me. So, uh, let's do a quest for the Magic Ring. Like, let's, let's just keep going, keep going east here. Majesty, I fear my vision grows alarmingly dim. The dark plague which grips our land does not respect the boundaries of these castle walls. This epidemic sweeps through our land, leeching away the very life from your royal subjects. Our best doctors seem unable to slow the pace of this dread disease. Before slipping into unconsciousness, the mighty wizard Rezenthal insisted that there was only one way to halt this affliction. You must recover the Ring of Healing, which the legends say is located somewhere in Ardania. Please, your majesty, act with greatest haste. Okay, so we're going to go find the One Ring, bring it back, and, uh... Oh, wait, that's... A d different fantasy world. Okay. Uh, recover the Ring of Healing. Perfect. How hard could that be? Paul? Oh, Paul is another monarch. Okay. So we have no restrictions here, so we can definitely build... Um, like, any of the buildings we want. We're not starting with Gnome Hovels, which is great. I don't understand why we ended up with gnome hovels in that one but sure okay we got rangers got an inn marketplace we need a marketplace and a guardhouse to protect everything and what's this here's that there's another kingdom in this realm okay which was felt somewhat obvious by the fact that their heroes were wandering around <gasps> Oh, I remember this now. I remember this quest. <laughs> oh. Your Majesty, our new building is complete. This is one of the first, um, the, the first quest where you run. Your like, Majesty, our new one of the first quests where complete. there's another kingdom in the realm. Your so like there, there's. If our we, we've had prosper, some maps before. It needs more heroes. Yes, yes, more heroes. So we've we've had scenarios before where there have been like neutral um, buildings and heroes and that sort of thing, um, like the rogues from the previous one. Uh, but we've never had, this is the first map where we have like a full on other kingdom just somewhere on the map. Like they have their own heroes, they, they have like, they have their own castle. Whereas all the other ones before it just like little collections of buildings, like they, wherever, whatever this other kingdom is, they have like a castle and everything else. A new building is complete. Some research going. Uh, recruit some heroes. Uh, Helia. So Helia is a temple for Shaman, the sun. Your marketplace sure. now serves you better, Majesty. Makes sense. The local blacksmith offers new services. Oh, your Majesty. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. So this is, but this will be one of those interesting things where other heroes can use your buildings and services. So like this guy, if you want to, you could come to our blacksmith and buy stuff, which in the elves treachery map, that was absolutely awful because the blacksmith was arming all the elves who were then slaughtering everyone in our town, which really sucks. But this does mean that heroes from another kingdom can actually just stop by, spend money that we can then collect as taxes. Which is very beneficial to us. What do we Your get Highness, for upgrading the temple? Improved the God House. Uh, we get we get we get Sun Scorch as a spell. Okay, sure. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. Your Majesty. The royal treasury is nearly empty. And it's the House of Slumber. Yeah. Sovereign, a that, building. That, that's a reasonable upgraded. name for an inn, I think. Sovereign, your marketplace now serves you better. Tax collector. I 
don't know where where these are where these people are going. They're like let, let's go stand up in the corner of the map where it's the most useless place to be. Good job, guys. One gold piece short. Can we not run a deficit just for Stop a tiny it. bit? A building has been upgraded. Yeah, guess not. Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. In gesture of good faith, the neighboring kingdom deposited gold into your treasury. Oh, that's very nice of them. So glad they're helping us out. We do want a rogues guild, though. Uh, we, we don't want rogues. We just want the guild hall so that way they can, you know, in, uh, poison... You know, purchase like poison weapons, basically. I don't actually want rogues. Like, that's. Uh, I'm not a fan of them. Although, actually. Oh. Actually, this might be a map where they'd be good to have because they will steal from other. Like, they'll go around stealing from other buildings. From other. Especially buildings in other kingdoms. So. This might actually be a case where we want rogues and they can run around, like, steal all the money out of the nearby inn. Hmm. Hmm. Possibilities, decisions, decisions. Hmm. Still looking for that fancy ring, though. Oh, well, you know what? Not much point in having a. Uh, <laughs> not much point in having um, uh, rogues if the nearby inn is just going to get obliterated. Uh -oh. uh, I tried. Oh, yeah, I should probably build a statue for, I don't know, increased loyalty or whatever the hell that. Oh, I can't do that yet. Okay. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. I genuinely have no idea what that actually means, but you know. I suspect it might be important in this uh, mission. Oh man, that poor inn. Your Highness, the palace renovations are finished. Your Majesty, the royal treasury is nearly empty. Your Highness, the elves wish to join our prosperous kingdom. I mean. I'm sure I'm not still salty about their betrayal in the previous map. No, no, it's fine. Who could who could carry a grudge about that? Who would still be upset about that? No one. No one could hold that against them. It's not like they didn't kidnap my son and then demand a absurd ransom for him. No, no. They would never do that. Blacksmith offers new services. That's all. Uh, your better marketplace weapons. now serves you better. Oh wow. Uh, that's that's just a stream of peasants coming up to repair this in. Good. Oh, look at all that money they have in there. Hmm. Be a shame if someone came and took it all. Repeatedly, constantly. Every hour of every day. Sure, we'll have another rogue. Why not? Majesty, the local blacksmith oh, offers new services. Uh, can we build a statue now? We can. Again, I, I honestly have no idea what they mean by loyalty, but sure. Oh, 
what's happening down here? Okay. Your Majesty, our new building is complete. Oh, they have healers. That's great. Uh, ruined keep. Okay. Goblin camp. Oh. Hmm. And goblin hovel. Hmm. And what are we trying to do? We're just trying to recover the ring. Okay. We don't know where it is. I, I think it's hidden in one of the buildings, though. In the name of the what a delicious looking reward. This inn is just not faring well. Like, you got minotaurs down here, you got trolls down here. They're just having a bad day. Rogue bounty hunting on the <laughs> on the cube. He comes all the way down here, sees one zombie, and then just runs off. He's like, nope, nope, had enough of that. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... Oh, do we not have dwarves? Oh, because we need the level three blacksmith. Right. Okay. Oh, we are one click away, so I'm just going to do that. Problem solved. Okay, so we're, we're getting more insight into this now. We have... Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. Your Highness, the dwarves are offering to move into our domain. Oh, that's so generous of them. You know, in fact, I would like to accept their offer of moving into my domain. In fact, if they could just, I don't know, set up camp. I don't know, here? Oh, that seems reasonable, right? Yeah. Do you anything else? Oh. I okay, so, we are, so Helia doesn't actually conflict with anything else. Okay. Helia is also um, a level 3 building from, or a level, like a palace level 3 building. So you can't actually build them until your palace is level 3. So we can't replace this if it gets destroyed. But it also doesn't conflict with most of the other temples. Or actually, any of the other temples, I think. Yeah, so we still have a full choice of temples. Do we want druids? Oh, that's where you get the Warriors of Discord. Oh, right. Alright, Fervus is uh, cultist, my bad. Increases the luck of all heroes. Okay. Oh. Spawns rocks for the cultists to charm. I don't like the sound of that. Doesn't make me happy at all. Uh, I actually really like Crypta. The necromancers are just fun. Uh, right, so these are the ones who give, give you the... Um, also give you the Warriors of Discord, which were the, the dudes with the, like, the big sight things that were walking around previously. In the previous mission. Yeah, sure, why not? I'm sure it's not going to bite us in the ass later to have a bunch of rocks spawning in the middle of our town. No, no, it'll be fine. Maybe we'll push it a little further down. So it's not, you know, right in the center of town. I uh, hope. We should probably build a wizard's, wizard's tower. This building, or the wizard's guild, because that gives us access to... Oh, actually, we need a warrior's guild. I don't know how we missed that. Um, 
because building the Wizard's Guild gives us access to a library which other heroes can use for buying upgrades and stuff. So it's not it's not solely restricted to wizards, although Your Majesty, I, I think most of the stuff in there is, is definitely been. I think everything in there is beneficial to wizards, but there are other things in there that are beneficial to others as well. Oh, oh wow, I actually didn't realize Crypto was um, not mutually exclusive to uh, Fervus. Okay. Also increases the luck of all heroes. I'm fine with that. Uh, what does upgrading give us? Uh, illusionary hero spawns Vargs for the cultist charm. Oh boy. Great. <laughs> spawns more bullshit. Awesome. A new building is complete. Cultist get some warriors of discord. I have my library now. Library. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the creature den. I'm out of here. The hidden ring site. Okay, so this is where uh, the ring is most likely hidden. Actually, I think there. I'm trying to remember if there might be a couple hidden ring sites around uh, the map. New building is complete. We'll get to those. I feel like it'd be beneficial to further explore the map a bit before we start diving into that. And just for, for no particular reason, it'd probably, probably be in our best interest to have more gold in the coffers before we start on that. Again, no particular reason why we might need that. This is the intelligence of newly created heroes. Nice. Uh, magic resistance and train intelligence. But I think that's only for wizards, though. Majesty, the local blacksmith offers new services. That's fine. I mean, we have to research all the ways to uh, upgrade the library. Minor spells usable by non-wizards. Yeah, Your that's Highness, exactly what I want. <laughs> research in the library is complete. Exactly what I'm going for. In the name of the sovereign. Probably a good idea to have to spend a little bit of time investing in our uh, kingdom before we uh, start trying to find the ring. Although our heroes might just do it regardless. Your Highness, our research in the library is complete. Okay, so they have wizards, they have Majesty, healers. A local blacksmith offers new services. Okay. Alright, so this looks like this is probably where their town is. Um so I haven't seen their cows yet. It's probably in this area, would be my guess. They've got a low-level marketplace, they've got gnomes, uh, rangers, looks like a, a very uh, basic guardhouse. Uh, got another inn up here, Yield Watering Hole. Also a good name for an inn. Warriors of Discord. Okay, so we've got all the dwarves. I don't really want any wizards, to be honest. Definitely want to get more Warriors of Discord. At least max that out. So we're maxed up there, there. How many cultists can we have? Four? Okay, sure. Okay. Blacksmith fully upgraded. Marketplace is fully upgraded. Your Highness, our research in the library is complete. Let's see. Uh, right, so they're, they're... They're high attack and they're just low defense. Uh, sure. 
very low intelligence. Yeah, they're not, uh, <laughs> they're not going to be spending time in the library. <laughs> oh, they support barbarians. Oh, okay. Oh, and they can make their own healing potions, of course. Right. I'm trying to remember which uh, temple gives barbarians. Uh, I, I, yeah, I don't remember. Oh, well. But yeah, so, some uh, hero types can, uh, you know, combine, well, they're not combined, but definitely uh, group up with other hero types and be able to support them really well. These guys are more like berserkers than anything. But I think barbarians are an actual unit type. I think. I don't remember. I don't remember which temple would give that either. So. Oh well. Five gold in the the coffers of the hidden ring site. Hmm. Oh, okay. So there's their castle. They have a... They have a level 3 castle. So they have a fully upgraded castle, but they've not put anything into their other buildings. Okay. Fine. Okay. There's the temple to Daros. Okay. Oh, so Daros is the one that brings the paladins in. Okay, I thought it was Agrella. My bad. So Daros brings in paladins. Um, Burvis brings in Discord. Maybe it's Crypta that brings in barbarians. Hmm. No idea. Not really important at this point. Let's see. So we have Power Shock and Flame Shield, which are for intelligent heroes. And then Meteor Storm is for wizards. Okay. Cool. So let's get those, make sure our people are you know, trained up. Your Highness, our research in the library is complete. Oh, where'd the Minotaur come? Did he just walk in off the map? I think he did. Oh, I don't like that. Let Agrella help. Uh, is there any reason to upgrade this? Mm, get Fargs, I guess. in the library is complete. In the name of the sovereign. I showed your majesty. I just can, can it just Okay. Mm, fine. Oh, okay. I, I misunderstood how to. Okay. That's fine. I actually don't want to track the statue. There we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and acquire the uh, the, the ring. I, I think it's about time to do that.
I mean, there are, there are there are some defenses around it, but oh, five heroes. How many of those heroes are from my kingdom? Uh, at least one of them isn't, because I don't have wizards. So, oh, uh, I need my heroes to get down there, please. Actually, this is working out well. I'll let the trees take out the uh, take out the, their heroes, and then I'll just claim the ring, which is rightfully mine, and then I'll just take it back home. Problem solved. I see no problems with the. <laughs> uh, I see no problems with this. It's fine. And both of those are mine. Why not? And I think we need level two to upgrade there. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, they can at least do some base upgrading there. Good. Your first move after being recruited is to go buy healing potions. Good job. <laughs> You're maybe not a complete idiot. <laughs> uh. Okay, oh, this actually worked out well. So our rogues are slowly working on the bounty here while the other kingdom's heroes are uh, <laughs> are dealing with the, the enemies. Yeah, seems fine to me. Oh, yeah. Gidget Leverworth. Sure. I mean, it's a dwarf. Seems reasonable. Has paid off. Oh, neat. Okay, so all the rogues are just getting levels from shooting a, a building with arrows. Okay. <laughs> sure. That's fine. Ah, right. A hero has recovered the magic ring, and with it, a terrible curse. Suddenly, you find yourself at war with the other kingdom in this realm. If the other king manages to return the ring to their palace, the curse will not be broken and all will be lost. Also, you've incurred the wrath of the Black Phantoms. They'll smite any hero who holds the ring. Good luck! <laughs> yeah, about that. Oh, right, you can't set bounties on artifacts. I forgot about that. Uh, hero must return... Ah, here must return magic ring to this pedestal in order to curse, expose the phantoms, and restore peace. I join Hold up. The wild so I need my hero to recover the artifact from here, rush it through the hostile kingdom, and place it here? Are you shitting me? Who came up with that combination? Ugh. Uh, Black Phantoms. Cast powerful spells of mass destruction. Why is why am I not surprised? And I cannot set bounties on this to encourage my heroes to do anything about it. Which is really unfortunate. Oh right, I lost a bunch of heroes when they all spawned. Yeah. Whoops. So I have a 
uh, Solaris just down here, just beating the crap out of a gnome, uh, goblin, or not a goblin, a gnome hobble. Okay, okay, good job. Please don't die. <laughs> I feel like I'm, my heroes just are naturally gonna wipe out a lot of their, uh, <laughs> a lot of their kingdom, which is unfortunate because I was trying to avoid that. But yeah, unfortunately, the hidden ring site is literally behind them, so I have to go through them. <laughs> I would go around them, but my hero's not that bright. So. I wonder if I'll even have wizards that get strong enough to actually use some of those spells. Probably not. is complete. Your Highness, the palace renovations are finished. Huzzah. Now we have a fancy castle as well. Oh, what was that all about? Oh, I have a phantom down here, that's why. Phantoms are kind of rude. They kind of sort of... Oh, shit. Who has the ring? Mm. Uh, who has the ring? I always wanted one of these. Oh, the cultist. Great. Who's going to run straight into their town, get royally butchered. <laughs> you know what? Maybe he can run. Maybe he can just run really fast. Maybe it'll be fine. <laughs> nope, he's gonna run straight into their palace guard and just get destroyed. Come on, I believe in you. Pretty certain their tower doesn't have arrows. Come on, go, 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 go. You can do it. I believe in you. We are victorious, your majesty. Wow. I'm surprised that worked. <laughs> Robust Bone is today's hero, apparently. <laughs> I am, uh, <laughs> I'm surprised that worked <laughs> and they survived. <laughs> okay. The ring has saved us all, Majesty. As your heroes carried the relic back into town, it was as if a deep winter snow had instantly lifted. The town literally sprang to life. Once again, your enlightened leadership has led us to safety. I wouldn't call my leadership enlightened, but sure. See, how'd we do? Uh, we spent a lot of gold on stuff. Um, didn't lose any buildings, which is always nice. Actually, didn't lose very many peasants either. Lost a lot of heroes. There. Although, to be fair, they were all standing around uh, the ring when the um, the, the the black um, shades spawned and murdered everybody instantly. <laughs> Whoops. All right. I think we have, hmm. Yeah, I think we have time for one more. That was Quest for the Magic Ring. Yes, I knew that they were going to betray us once we found the ring. <laughs> uh, okay, so we did free. So we're, we just need to hold off the go goblin hordes for this one. And this one, uh, we need Quest for the Crown and Holy Chalice, which we haven't done yet, but that's okay. So, because that's Quest for the Crown, Holy Chalice is up here. Oh, uh, hmm. Hold off the Goblin Hordes is what we need for that one. Yeah, we could probably do that. <laughs> Slay the Mighty Dragon. Yeah, that that's not going to end well for us. We have down here Quest for the Crown. Uh, actually, you know, let's do hold off the Goblin Hordes just so we can kind of finish up the eastern side of the map and then unlock whatever this is. 
Dreadful news! Scouts from the frontier report that goblins have been seen heading this way in massive numbers. We must stem this dark tide before they overrun and utterly destroy the kingdom. I suggest you put out a call for heroes, as many as we can muster, to protect our village and keep this vile swarm at bay. I implore you to act quickly. The most recent sightings were not far from the village, and we are ill-prepared for such an invasion. Okay, so destroy the goblin settlements. Don't get ranger skills. Oh, that's obnoxious because rangers will naturally just explore the map. Like you don't have to encourage them at all. They'll just be like, oh, cool. I'm that's how I'm going to spend my day is just wandering the map. But for all the other heroes, you need to offer rewards to get them to actually go out and look. So that's a little unfortunate. Oh, we, we have uh, why did they start us? Mm -hmm. uh, this wizard, this independent wizard's guild pledges to help defend the realm. Better yet, the local magi have enchanted it so the building is invulnerable for a duration. Oh, fancy. I just realized there's a face in the side of this building. I have never noticed that before. I knew these buildings were hands, but I had never noticed there was a face there. That was cool. Yeah, okay, so they're there to help. There's a goblin camp right next door for some weird reason. Uh, gonna need some warriors. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, let's get some arrows. Um, uh, definitely need an inn. Definitely need a marketplace. Preferably right Your next Highness, to the guardhouse. We've improved the guardhouse. Upgrade that. Recruit more people. Oh, wait, we have two warriors at Discord. I oh, yeah, I saw one of them running around. Huh. Oh, and an inn. We've Fancy. The the is under siege. Of course it is. Oh, <laughs> that marketplace didn't survive. Has been upgraded. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Oh, we start. Oh, we start with a level two palace. Oh. Uh, one's Chrome. Oh, Chrome is the barbarians. Okay. Oh, right. They they don't do spells, right? Oh, but I don't have rangers this time, so I don't have anyone to actually support them. Hmm. Um, you know, I feel like Agrella. I feel like having healers is probably going to be a... Your uh, Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. Probably going to be useful. Can't imagine why, but... We can get a marketplace actually built for once. <laughs> probably not. Oh, right, this is going to be one of... Oh, we couldn't build a ranger skill, but there is one that joins our cause. Okay, okay. So actually, maybe we should have built a temple to Chrome after all. Hmm. Well, when we restart, because we inevitably will have to, uh, <laughs> we can do that. The Allied Wizards Guild has contributed gold to your treasury. Oh, that's generous of them. I don't think they fuck us over. Later on. Your Highness, we've improved the Godhouse. Yeah, there's a lot of goblins here. One day I'll actually have a uh, marketplace that gets built. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. One day. Probably not today though. Oh no, they took out the... Damn it, they took out the guardhouse.
Oh no, don't destroy my ranger's guild. I can't build those. <laughs> I can only find them. In the name of the sovereign. Okay. Guardhouse, let's go. Actually, let's put the guardhouse down here. I serve with pleasure. I'm assuming that they won't touch the building when it has one HP and has never been constructed on, but as soon as you start building it, then it's fair game. Like, oh, you've made literally any progress on it? Okay, I guess we're gonna destroy it now. Uh, in order to further aid the cause, the allied wizards have deposited more gold in your treasury. Oh, that is so generous of them. Try not to uh, waste it. Waste Your their Majesty, generosity. A new building is complete. Not saying I'll be successful in any way, shape, or form, especially when the goblins do this bullshit. Uh, but I'll certainly try. Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. Oh, palace guard, gotcha. That's why he's doing so well. I was like, wow, this guy's taking on three goblins all by himself, and he's doing so well. But no, it's because he's a palace guard and not a uh, city guard. In the name of the well then. Can I please get a marketplace? Holy crap, this should not be this difficult. Some healers going. Uh, your allied wizard's guild has lost its ward of invulnerability. It is mortal again and may be destroyed by these crazed goblins. Ah, shit. Well, we will try to Sovereign, ensure they don't die. Oh, upgraded. they're already having trouble. I mean, we knew there was a goblin camp up here somewhere because they keep raiding us from that direction. So, we know there's one up there. Oh, yay, we finally got our marketplace built. Great. Good. Great. Um. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. Sovereign, your marketplace now serves you better. We have the Grelic. Dar Daros would be good, too. To uh, we definitely need a blacksmith, though. That way, our, that way we can upgrade our weapons and armor and hopefully not die as fast. I feel oh, good. Maybe we can find the camp over here. Dude, what is our objectives? Uh, just destroy all the settlements? Okay. Easy enough. I assume there's gonna be like a massive one down here that's just completely like surrounded by like twenty thousand hovels or something. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Trying very hard to keep our allies alive. Sovereign. Your marketplace now serves you better. Oh, Majesty, this is not going well. A local blacksmith offers new services. Like, I look away for like five seconds and suddenly my entire town is just falling apart. What the hell, guys? What the hell? Did not mean to put that much gold in there, but you know what? Oh well, it's fine. Majesty, a local blacksmith offers new services. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. Uh, okay, it just gives the building more hit points. Eh, it's probably a good thing to have, but. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. Sovereign, your marketplace now serves you better. Oh no, no, don't kill the wizard. Actually, how is he so how is he not immediately dying? I join the I don't understand how their wizards are apparently very durable and ours just go squish instantly. I don't I don't understand that. Majesty, the local blacksmith offers new services. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. In the name of the sovereign. All right.
Sovereign, your marketplace now serves you better. All right, looks like, well, I mean, we feel like we're doing pretty good now, now that we've kind of eliminated the immediate threat around the area. Like, we're not being overwhelmed by goblins as much. The local blacksmith offers new services. New services that I paid them to offer. <sighs> you know, you'd think if they're making so much money, they could afford to, I don't know, upgrade their own building. They don't need a handout from from the crown. I know from the crown that they then turn used to arm all the elves and then slaughter all the crown so citizens. Oh, I have... Your Highness, yeah. the dwarves are offering to move Don't into our go. domain. Oh, that's generous of them. I think the dwarves should in stay. The name of the in the uh, oh, I thought they had a building here. No, it's just such a big mass of them that it's <laughs> it looked like a building on the map. Ah, damn. I mean, uh, to be fair, that is my own fault for trying to construct a building next to a massive goblin horde. <laughs> uh, that was my own fault. This guy's gonna walk up, punch it once. Oh no, no, he's ignoring it. Okay. If there's like one more up like in this spot maybe I feel like there's definitely something in this area Aha. Majesty, the local blacksmith offers new services your majesty a new building is complete Definitely gonna take dwarves over wizards. At least uh, my wizards. Like I, I definitely want my allied wizards to stick around because they are super useful. My wizards are just squishy and die after like five seconds of being alive. So I would much rather take my allies' wizards. Like they can stay. <laughs> A foul beast approaches. Majesty, the local oh, blacksmith the offers new services. Ooh. Not now. I've got work to do. Wait, how does this hero not have a ring of protection? Healing potions, great. How about maybe running? Like you literally have a marketplace that sells rings of protection. Or yeah. Like should have stopped there first. Oh well. Hmm. They are not the brightest. arrived that goblins have begun to recruit trolls oh the recruit the, the goblins are recruiting trolls what the hell jerks well, I think we've wiped out most of them at this point my services may help Now, when they said they were recruiting trolls, do they mean minotaurs? Because those are not the same thing, just by the way. Like, just FYI, trolls, minotaurs, not, not at all the same. Nice. Good hammer. The 
you'd be sorry. Okay, like that's not the end of the world, like just a couple trolls here and there. Really not a big deal. Although if they all like clustered together, that would be a problem, but just a couple, not a big deal. Tell me you have. Nope. Uh, although survived, so. We are victorious, Your Majesty. What's uh? Sure, these ones the feel a lot easier Majesty. than the, the other two. Report there are no goblin settlements as far as the eye can see. While many lives were lost, our kingdom is safe once again. The Goblin King will think twice before trying another such futile assault. All right, how do we do? Um, anything interesting? I uh, spent a lot on reward flags, but I mean, that was... That makes sense. We, we were trying to drive the destruction of the goblins as quickly as possible, so... Uh, that made sense. Lost a lot of henchmen. Uh, that's all right. Surprisingly, didn't really lose that many heroes. We lost one hero. Which I think was a ranger, like, early on. Yeah. Seems like we did pretty well. Okay, I think we're going to call it a night there. Um, yeah. So, a lot of fun. Super happy to have a chance to get back to Majesty. It's it's a game I've been enjoying. Or, uh, it's a game I enjoyed growing up, and I'm really happy I've had a chance to revisit it. So, yeah. Um, let's see. What's my schedule look like this week? Um, so, no stream Wednesday. I uh, have other plans. I'm just not going to be around. I will be here on Friday. Or I intend to be here on Friday, I should say. Um, with probably more Stellaris. Although, maybe Majesty, depending on how I'm feeling. Uh, but probably Stellaris. And then next Monday will be definitely be more Majesty. So, like, you know, thank everyone for watching, stopping by, hanging out, chatting, following, hosting, you know, all that good stuff. You know, it, I really appreciate it. So, so happy to have everyone here. Um, let me see if there's anyone I can send you to. Um, nope, doesn't look like uh, anyone's on right now. So, again, thank you all very much for watching, and I will hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.